Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Transformers Generations Autobot Cosmos and Payload. Celebrating 30 years of Transformers, actually, which is, again, remarkable. I remember watching the original Generation 1 cartoon growing up, coming home from school. Uh, this is a level 1 super easy transformation. It is recommended for ages 5 and up and comes to us from the folks over at Hasbro. Um, I've always loved Cosmos. I think I actually had a Cosmos when I was younger. Again, much like every other story of a collector, probably ended up in a garage sale somewhere, or I probably just lost it. So sad. Up at the top corner, though, there's a nice picture of Cosmos. Um, I wonder if you could ever get across or ever get a, an opportunity to grab some of this artwork. Like maybe Hasbro might at some point release a book. It's a, you know, it could be a great idea if they release like artwork of Transformers, showing you all the different artwork that's been used over the years uh, between, you know, the, the original Generation One toys, artwork such as this. I mean, I definitely would love to get my hands on something like that. On the back of the package. Converts from robot to space shuttle to blaster. That would be payload, by the way. And then Autobot Cosmos uh, turns into UF mode, UFO mode. And then, of course, the robot there. Some text backs down below there as well. I'll let you guys have a look at those for a second. Yes? No? Good? Good. The read-up says, You may never meet a pair that is more eager to please than Autobot Cosmos and payload. They're both proud of their ability to fly into space and eager to use it to benefit the Autobot cause. That is also included in Francais and Spanish as well. You can head over to www.hasbro.com, check out more that they're producing. As well, it looks like uh, Transformers has their own Facebook and YouTube channel. There you go. How about that? Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at Autobot Cosmos and his sidekick, Payload. Don't go anywhere, guys. There's more heading your way. Stay tuned. So, having a look at Payload first. Uh, he's, you know what, he's a pretty decent looking little shuttle guy. Now, he has three modes. He has his shuttle mode that you see right here. Nice Autobot logo on the side of the wing there. Uh, and yeah, as you can already see, transforming him to robot mode is really all, not, not all that complex. Basically, just going to take the back section wing, fold it forward, and then uh, just basically prop him up. And you can bring out the arms, and uh, there you have payload. Really not much involved for him. But uh, you know what? He's still a really fun little guy. I like his face, too. I don't know why, for some reason, his face reminds me of something like from He-Man. I'm not sure why. I don't even know why I'm thinking that, but... He does have movement in his arms. Uh, he doesn't have any movement or anything in his head. He's just, you know, staction, really, for the most part. To transform him into a gun, you're really not going to do that much more than just take this section right here, flip this out, this will be the handle, and then take this back section and push it in. And it's a little stiff when you first get it. But push it all the way in. And of course, making sure the arms, you know what, I think the arms go out. Bring this out again. There we go. Bring these out, bring these out. Push this back in. And uh, there you have the gun. At least it's a believable enough gun. It's nothing like, um, it's nothing like a reflector that came with Scrapnel. This I can at least buy more so as it being a gun. But there you have Payload. A decent enough little Minicon slash Target Master little buddy for Cosmos. Putting that to the side. Don't worry, we'll revisit him in a second. Cosmos I love. I just love the design of Cosmos. And this isn't the first Cosmos that we've gotten. In fact, uh... I don't know what it is about Cosmos. He, I believe, already got a Legends class figure before, maybe a couple of years ago, and I never got my ch chance to pick him up because retail is always disastrous for Canada when it comes to uh, uh, new toys. 
But this guy was available in Walmart, I think actually is where I picked him up. And he looks really neat. Always really love the design of Cosmos. And this Cosmos is equally cool. Um, staying, staying pretty rooted in his original Generation 1 form. They didn't do all that much different to him other than just giving him a little more complex of a transformation. And he looks a little more sleeker versus the original Cosmos, which is just a big blocky, kind of look like the top of a saucepan. He just is really, really, really small little UFO. But this one's a little more sleeker. Kind of like something I would expect to see in an episode of Lost in Space. Lost in Space? You have no idea what that's about? Yeah, Spot's old. He's got a couple of cannons in the front. Some added firepower. Some thrusters in the back. Yeah, he's a pretty neat looking transformer. Super, super easy as well. In fact, putting him into saucer mode is probably a little harder than robot mode. Because robot mode, you're just basically unfolding all these little parts. Getting him in saucer mode is where you have to kind of line up pieces and make sure they all kind of come together. But for your transformation, you can just take the back section here, unpeg that, and uh, you'll find right away that it's basically just a, oops, just a ba basically a case of unhinging and f unfolding components. Take this, spin it around. His waist is a little stiff, which doesn't bother me too much because it would be a lot better than it being extremely loose. But you want to bring these up, untab this, untab these. These will be his arms. Let's bring the camera back a little bit. Untab these, bring these down, like so. And uh, you'll see right away, there's his fist. And like most people, robots are the same way that he has two fists. And then the legs, you're just going to straighten out. Bring these around, bring these around, and just kind of untab you really don't even need to untab the feet because the feet are just gonna they're just gonna be uh, just gonna be there anyways you're not really gonna do all that much to them and then the last thing you need to do is just get your finger in there and pull out his head and as you pull it you'll hear like a little ledge that that head will get caught on and it'll keep the head from going back down which was one of the plaguing issues with the original Cosmos, the Generation 1 Cosmos. Loose toys, loose Cosmos, the head never stayed up. It always just fell back down. So, really, really neat. I mean, a really nice update to the original Cosmos. Funny enough, Spot actually, I think, picked up a knockoff of the, the first re-release of, knock, of uh, Cosmos here. And he was a little bit bigger. This Cosmos is a little smaller, I think, than the uh, the first version of Cosmos released. You can take payload in gun mode and peg it into his hand. I find thing the thing is though, like the pegs are very large. There you go. And uh, there you have Cosmos. I love him with this gun. Scrapnel. I had a little tougher time accepting the fact that. The reflector could turn into a gun. It didn't really even look so much like a gun. But payload, at least with the legs being able to push in, looks a little more gun-esque than, uh, than I think other the other Legends class figures that probably didn't succeed as well. Uh, articulation on Cosmos, as with all the current Legends class figures, pretty articulated, actually. His head, despite the fact that you pull it up, still rotates left and right. He still has a ball hinge socket on the shoulders, ball socket in the arms, with these mammoth oven mitt sized hands. He has a waist swivel, uh, legs go forward back out, bend at the knee, and also a hinged foot. Certainly a far cry from the original Cosmos who, I don't even remember if he might have even had just hand movement, that was about it. Cosmos, very successful attempt at this Cosmos. The original release one, the original uh, Legends Cosmos that was released a couple of years ago, I liked, but I think I like this one a little bit more. He's a little bit smaller. Stuff on him comes together, I think, a little bit better than that Cosmos. Yeah, as a as a overall figure, I really like this one. Um, by the way, also, I don't know why they don't bring back the rub signs. Why can't you bring back the rub signs? It would be the icing on an already delicious cake. Uh, in Cosmos here. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro 30 Years of Transformers. Who would have thought? We're having a look today, though, at Autobot Cosmos 
and his little friend, there he is right there, let's fold this down right there, his little friend, Payload. Little wee Payload. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Certainly other Transformers reviews heading your way as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.